What's going on everyone? Chandler Waite here with Lebanon Ford Performance, and today we're gonna to talk about GT350 short shifters, specifically the Ford Performance GT350 short shifter and the red GT350R shift knob. Those of you who have the GT350 already know that it comes with an upgraded um, transmission straight from Ford. Now, a lot of people still like the short throw shifters. They like that notchiness. They want it to be really short and direct. And in my opinion, it feels a little bit more engaging than the factory shifter. Ford Performance has come out with an answer here, which is in the form of really not so much a short throw shifter, but a short throw shifter arm um, that's designed to work with your factory shifter. So what this piece does is it drops in place of the old arm and reduces the shift throw approximately 16%. It's fairly easy to install. Um, it usually takes probably just a couple of hours. Basically what you do is you have to remove the old arm, you slide the old hardware off, put the new hardware on, you have a new reverse lockout bushing, um, which will fit over the arm and will grab onto the shifter boot. And then you can either top it off with your existing shift ball or as um, a, a customer wanted in this particular case, the red 350R shift knob, but we'll get more to that later. The install kit comes with everything that you need, including the new pins, a new nut, some thread lock to make sure that nothing backs out, and some grease. The grease being very important. Um, for those of you who have aftermarket shifters in your GTs and some of your other cars, you may notice that they tend to let in a lot of noise. They tend to be kind of clicky and clunky. Ford Performance does their best to alleviate that by including a specific Motorcraft lubricant that you will use to lubricate pretty much every part on here. That's, what's really nice is they also have a very detailed installation video with schematics side-by-sides uh, from Ford Performance themselves. So you know that the, the install is gonna be easy, you're gonna have help. I'll make sure that I link those in the blog post as well as the video so you can check it out. Again, key takeoffs on this, fairly easy to install, reuses the majority of your factory hardware. It's a shifter arm with a 16% reduction in throw. Uh, the only major real quote-unquote modification that you do have to do is you have to trim the foam a little bit that fits beneath the shifter boot, but it's really easy, not that hard. Um, shifter column, hardware, lubricant, etc. Uh, moving on to the shift knob, again, another Ford Performance part. It's pretty self-explanatory. On the GT350s, they come with a white or I believe a black knob. On the 350R, they all came with a red knob. So for a lot of you owners out there that like the look of the red knob, you can buy it straight from Ford Performance. It's a direct thread on, and again, you have your, your collar that'll sit somewhere around here after the boot, thread lock to make sure this thing doesn't back off. Spins right on, good to go. Again, guys, a very simple mod, a very easy way to change the look of the interior of your Mustang. You don't even need the arm. This will screw directly into the existing arm. So again, a quick, easy, fairly cheap way of transforming the way that your interior looks or setting off your new shift arm. We've talked about what it all is. You can find it online on our performance parts website, LebanonFordPerformanceParts.com for about $300. And I believe the shift ball is right around 70 bucks. Um, for those of you guys who are looking for an install, we'd be more than happy to add it onto your GT350, which is exactly what we're doing with this current setup here in a couple of days. Um, for more information on that, visit us at LebanonFordPerformance.com or give us a call. Lastly, if there's a particular product that you guys want us to review, make sure you drop it in the, column, the uh, comments below. And as long as we have it in stock, we'll definitely shoot a video on it. All right, guys, so that's gonna wrap up today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. We've done a lot of these videos and we're gonna do a lot more. So make sure if you like the video, you hit that like button, hit the subscribe and tap the bell notification. So that way you get updates. Um, feel free to comment below if you guys want to see product reviews on specific videos. And if you want to see the video that we did before this, click somewhere over one of my shoulders. Hannah's going to drop a link. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next episode.